kind that happens where tectonic plates collide. During those collisions, one tectonic plate is shoved underneath another, and the immense pressure in the mantle literally squeezes water out of the sinking plate. To handle this current, the ignition switch needs to be unusually large. It also requires very thick wires running from the battery to the switch, and then to the motor, which is technically inconvenient. First, but he realizes there's a way to place each new person. He asks the guest in room one to move to room two. He then asks the guest in room two to move to room four. The guest in room three to move to nature. So here's a spoiler alert. I'll tell you right now up front exactly what we will learn in this video. We will learn that evolution can happen automatically. ...by using multimedia filters, which are tanks or vessels containing a series of layered granular materials. These materials can be anthracite, garnet, sand, pebble... ...lighting or reflections in your game engine, it helps if the vectors you're calculating with are normalized to have length 1. Because otherwise, your vectors might be too short or too long, and when you do physics... When one plunger is pushed down an inch, the other end comes up an inch. And a pound of pressure exerted at one end is transmitted to the other. Changes lets Artemia survive conditions that could otherwise kill them. So these dormant animals are protected from their environment until it becomes easier to live in. And they can stay this way for years. One study from the university... And they never come back, much like your seven did. But if I go less than this number one, they don't go that way anymore, they go that way. In fact, they head towards zero and they're stable there. So for the sake of moving it around, it's kind of... I've coded information into the exact sequence of hisses and hums and squeaks and pops that I'll be making. You have the ability to recover the information before launching himself into a career in science communication to see for myself his contributions to scientific research and to test myself to see if I stand a chance. And the ancient gene that makes it is still in our genomes today, lying dormant on our ninth chromosome, having been inactivated by mutations. So we have a pretty good understanding of when and how we lost the ability to make this molecule. Glades in 1969 and 70. These earlier archaeology projects tended toward general research. More recent archaeology in the park is geared toward preservation. In 1976, scientists were exploring the deep oceans of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, dragging a camera through the water looking for the unexpected. Together will extend twice as far as one spring would on its own. You could say that these springs are in series, but what would happen if you put the springs in parallel? Okay, so start again with a mass. This week, I'm in Wiltshire to walk the age-old Ridgeway. I want to know what this historic path across the North Wessex down... We can ask a very simple question. How big is the visible universe? There are lots of tricky ways to think about that, but let's start with perhaps the most obvious. We can't see... To answer that, we need to go down to the cellular level. So let's actually zoom in and zoom into this brain tissue and take a look at some brain cells. Welcome to the interworkings of your brain on a whiteboard. An experimental reactor and produced hydrogen plasma in a device. This device is called the Wendelstein 7X Stellarator. The Stellarator is made to hold plasma formed by smashing hydrogen atoms. Anyone to understand how it works. So that's what this video is about. There's a few different types of piezoelectric crystal that you can buy, but I'm going to look at quartz in particular, which is the first...